Is it because Freestyle Libre is three times better? It's still possible to unofficially extend the sensor's lifetime. If you are deciding between Freestyle Libre and Dexcom Continuous Glucose Monitors, don't click away because this video will help you find out which of these two systems you should get. And I will share some information that I never shared before. Let's go. I put the Freestyle Libre and Dexcom sensors to a real life test. In fact, I used at least one of them every day to monitor my blood sugar levels for the past four years. I tried Freestyle Libre 1, Libre 2, Libre 3, Dexcom G6, and I did a ton of research on Dexcom G7, which will be coming out really soon. But more about that in a minute. There have been days when I had three sensors on running at the same time to make sure I capture as much data as possible and that I can bring you a really comprehensive comparison. When I'm picking the best continuous glucose monitor, aka CGM, the first thing, not necessarily the most important thing, but the first thing I look at is how this device looks. This is Freestyle Libre 1, this is Libre 2, this is Libre 3, and this is Dexcom G6. Sorry Dexcom, but Freestyle Libre is a lot more sexy. And I want my CGM to be sexy, because wearing a CGM is sexy. Hit like if you agree. Dexcom G6 is more bulky and medically looking. Even the new Dexcom G7 will be quite a bit bigger and bulkier than Libre 3. Same thing when it comes to sensor application. Freestyle Libre is super straightforward to apply. With Libre 3 it's only three steps. Unscrew the lid, press and scan. When you're applying Dexcom G6, you need to deal with this giant applicator, this orange whatever it is, and mess around with a separate transmitter. Not very user-friendly. Dexcom sensors last for 10 days, Freestyle Libre sensor lasts for 14 days. So at the first sight, Libre wins this category as well. But to be honest with you, a lot of sensors don't really last that long. People often knock their sensors off of door frames or some other external objects. Or the sensors just peel off when we are on vacation swimming in a pool. The safest way to avoid that and keep the sensors on is to use over patches. My favorites are skin grips. They come in different colors and they are super easy to put on. By the way, skin grip is the sponsor of today's video and they will give you 10% off if you use my discount link in the show notes to get a pack of these bad boys. And I have to give credit to Freestyle Libre here again because in wet conditions, it stays on a little bit better. Dexcom peels off a little bit easier. But having an overpatch handy is still a good idea, no matter which sensor you end up using. Now when you see commercials for continuous glucose monitors, the main hook companies like to use to hook their customers is that once you get a CGM, you don't need to do any more finger pricks again to check your blood sugars. People with diabetes are still pricking their fingers? What? But they put this little star next to the statement and a tiny footnote which says finger pricks are required if glucose readings do not match symptoms or expectations. And that happens fairly often, so in a real life of a real diabetic like I am, you still have to do some finger pricks. Now I don't necessarily like that because the main thing that I'm expecting or I want from a CGM is that it's accurate and it lasts for the whole period that is meant to last for. Let me tell you with which sensor I had to do more finger pricks in real life. You might be surprised. Accuracy of CGM sensor readings in clinical trials is measured by mean average relative difference or MART. The lower the MART is, the more accurate your sensor is. And here you can see what MART you can expect from our sensors. Libre 1 has a MART of 9.3%, Libre 2 also 9.3%, Dexcom G6 is better, with 9.0% and the Freestyle Libre 3 was initially announced with a 9.2% accuracy for adults. But according to new data from recent trials, Freestyle Libre 3 has actually a mark of 7.9%. That's really impressive. And it makes Freestyle Libre 3 the most accurate CGM on the market. Even the new Dexcom G7, which almost all of us are still impatiently waiting for, is expected to have mark of 8.7%. So 
quite a bit higher than Libre 3. But let's be honest, anything below 10% is an excellent mark. The thing with Freestyle Libre sensors is that sometimes they start showing a little bit lower numbers uh, than the actual blood sugar is, especially during the second week of the 14 day cycle. During the four years of my testing, there have been several instances where the difference just got too high. I could not rely on the sensor and I had to claim a replacement. On average, I pricked my finger 0.38 times a day when I was using Freestyle Libre. With Dexcom, I actually have completely different experience. Dexcom is almost always extremely inaccurate on day one, and then it gets much closer and it's almost always on point. A huge advantage of Dexcom over any Freestyle Libre model is that you can calibrate it to your actual blood sugar readings from your finger sticks if you want to. And I've done that exactly 0.8 times during each Dexcom cycle on average. The average number of finger pricks per day I made with Dexcom was 0.75, so a lot more finger pricks than Freestyle Libre. But the main reason for these finger pricks is actually not that I don't trust the CGM. It's mainly because I have the option to calibrate in case it had been running off, but it almost never is. Before I get to the most important decision factor between Freestyle Libre and Dexcom and what was the deal breaker for me, I have a little surprise for you. You might already know that I have a Patreon community. I want to give one of you a free six month Patreon membership as a little thank you for your support. Now, just so you know what the heck the Patreon community means. My patrons have access to a library of bonus videos. These videos are a bit longer, a bit more personal and look a little bit more behind the scenes. What's happening in my world? Another huge advantage that my patrons get is that they can message me 24 seven and I usually respond within a few hours. And all you need to do to win the free membership is comment below and let me know why you would like that membership. And I will randomly pick the winner from all the responses seven days after this video has been released. So stay tuned. And if you don't win the free membership, don't worry, because you can try it completely for free. You can sign up anytime and they won't bill you until the end of calendar month. Now let's talk about what ends up being a major consideration for many people when deciding between Freestyle Libre and Dexcom. According to my estimate based on the latest press releases from the companies behind these sensors, Freestyle Libre is currently used by approximately 4 million people. The number of Dexcom users is three times lower. Now, is it because Freestyle Libre is three times better? I don't think so. I think the main reason is that Freestyle Libre is available in a lot more countries. If you are in Brazil, for example, where I am right now, you cannot get Dexcom here. It doesn't exist here. There is no Dexcom distribution center in Brazil. Nobody will sell it to you. Another thing is that Dexcom is quite a bit more expensive than Libre. And so people who don't have insurance that covers fully these sensors might decide to go for Libre just for the budget reasons. For most people, it's all about access. A lot of people cannot afford any of these sensors at all because the price tag is just too high. Notice we only have 6 million global users, but how many people with diabetes there are? When we count diabetes and prediabetes, we're probably getting too close to 1 billion billion people and only 6 million of them are using these sensors. We need to bring these prices lower. Now I'm in a very comfortable situation because I can actually choose. I don't have to look at the cost of the sensor because my insurance almost fully covers all the expenses for continuous glucose monitors in my home country in Switzerland. Plus my financial situation is quite good. So I'm going to share right now which sensor I choose to use and to why. Now I like to view my blood glucose data in various third party apps. So I prefer when the system is open for external app developers. I also like to view my glucose graph on my Apple watch because it's so convenient and I absolutely need to connect my CGM with my insulin pump because when I do that, I can turn on an autopilot, AKA semi-automated insulin delivery system. And this is such a game changer for a diabetic. So if you can afford it, you need to get it. This kind of closed loop makes so many 
tweaks and little decisions for you and takes so much stress away. And right now in 2022, Dexcom just gives me so many more options when it comes to different data viewing experiences and different closed loop solutions. Freestyle Libre is still very limited in both of these areas. And that's why I choose Dexcom. Plus with Dexcom, it's still possible to unofficially extend the sensor's lifetime. You can learn how to do that in the video on the screen right now. So click it and watch it next. If you don't like Dexcom, check out my full Freestyle Libre 3 review. It's right here. Ciao.